All right, class. Tomorrow, we're going to be having a major test before spring break test. So as you all know, next week is spring break. And so before spring break, we're going to have a major test. What makes this test so major and before spring break is that if you fail major test before spring break test, then you have to come to school all week during spring break because you're dumb because you failed the major test before spring break test. You understand? If we fail the test, we have to come to school during spring break? I might fail on purpose. More school? Can I get a zippity doo -dah? Dude, I can't fail. We have to study. All right, Joseph, come over to my house tonight. We're going to study together. Okay, dude. I don't want to fail the test either. I'm missing a chromie. Can you help a homie? Sure, Jeff, you can come over and study with us. Cody, can you please come help us study? You're smart. I don't know, Junior. My price for helping's pretty high. What is Mm, I don't know. How about six ham and cheese hot pockets? <gasps> what? That many? Yep, I'm a hungry boy. Me and Ken are gonna scarf those down. Uh, okay, you got a deal, Cody. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm in. You hear that, Belly? Got some ham and cheese aroonies coming in hot. So I suggest you all go home and study so you can pass the major test before spring break test. Okay, guys, let's go to my house and study. Okay. Mm-mm-mm, Junior. This pocket looks like it couldn't afford its rent and got cream pied by its landlord's ham and cheese. I mean, it's more of a room temperature pocket than a hot pocket, but that's okay. I can't complain. You guys ready to learn? I guess. Okay, so tomorrow's test is going to be a math test, so I'm going to be teaching you PEMDAS. What's that? Well, it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Dude, that's a lot. How are we supposed to remember that, Cody? Well, it's actually pretty easy to remember because most people remember it like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What'd she do? What? What did Aunt Sally do that with the excuse her? What? Did she toot? What? No, no, she did not toot because she's not real. If she's not real, why are you bringing her up? Yeah. Well, it's just to help you remember the A and the S. Well, how old is she? Well, I don't know. She's probably like middle age because she's an aunt, so maybe in her 50s. It doesn't matter. Well, you don't know your own aunt's age. She's not my aunt. Yes, she is. You said, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She's your dear aunt for well, some reason. Well, that's just to help you remember the letters. Like, I don't even use the Aunt Sally one. I, I actually use, please excuse my dick and scrotum because they're always getting in the way because I wear boxers. But as long as it's these letters in this order, that's that's all that matters. So I can make it whatever I want? Yeah, sure. So I can do, please excuse my dear alien sister? Ooh, I like that, dude. Yeah, sure, that works. Ooh, what about African sister? Yeah, that works too. What about Asian sister? Yeah, the letters are the same. Australian sister? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh what if the Australian sister's Margot Robbie? Ooh, dude, I would totally drag my balls across glass just to smell Margot Robbie's fart. Oh, me too! Alrighty, Roo! Okay, guys, let, let's just focus on the letters, okay? So this is how it works. You do parentheses first, so you do 89 plus 6. Who would win in a fight, alien sister or African sister? Definitely African sister, dude. But no, maybe in a 100-meter dash in the Olympics, but not in a fight. Alien sister has a UFO and bazookas. They don't have bazookas, dude. Yeah, What's yeah, wrong with you? Guys, they, they're not going to fight because none of that's real, okay? They just help you remember the math. Okay? Well, can Aunt Sally just come do this math for us? Yeah. Okay, okay guys, I don't think you're going to pass this test tomorrow. Why? Because Aunt Sally's not coming to town? No, because you guys are stupid. But it's okay. I think I have a solution. Okay, guys. I made this. What is that? This is the opposite ray. What's it do? Well, anything you shoot with this becomes the opposite of how it is now. Well, why haven't you told us about it? Well, I was going to use it on you, Junior, to turn you gay, but I decided that would be wrong, and I want to turn you gay all on my own. So if we shoot Ken, he'll not be a doll anymore? He's not a doll, Jeff! Well, if we shoot us, we'll be smart? Well, it should. Ooh, ch test it out on Jeffy. Uh-huh. Okay, guys. I, I haven't worked out all the kinks yet, but stand back! <laughs> Salutations, my homo sapiens. Emphasis on the homo. <gasps> You're smart, Jeffy! Precisely. Say something smart. The Earth's core is exactly 1,802 miles beneath us. That sounds pretty smart to me. Dude, shoot me next! Do you think it'll make me rich? Well, we already did that once and everyone hated it, but I can try. <laughs> ah, my oh god, it made him old. But why did it make him old, Cody? Well, I guess because he was young before, and it's an opposite race, so it just made him old. Well, why didn't it make Jeffy old? Well, I guess it just chooses one random thing about you to make opposite. Ah, change me back! I don't know if I can change you back, and I'm afraid to try because you might die, because you're alive now, and the opposite of that would be dead. Ah, I don't understand these contraptions. I'm going to eat some mashed potatoes. I don't know why guy you couldn't give him parents. Your turn, Junior. No, I don't want to get shot by that. Oh, come on, Junior. Don't be a puss. Uh, well, what if it makes me old? Statistically, that's a 0% chance of happening. Because Logan wouldn't use the same joke in the same video. That's true. Okay, fine. Shoot me with it. <laughs> It made me a girl? Oh, dang it, Junior. I was hoping you'd be a pickle smoocher. I don't want to be a girl, Cody. Junior, now that you're a female, what are your pronouns? I would like to address you properly. Mine or he, him. I don't have pronouns. That's dumb. Cody, change me back. No, Junior. What if it makes you pregnant? Why would it make me pregnant? Because you're not pregnant now and this thing does the opposite? I don't know. It's doing random shit. Let me shoot you with it. I don't have a problem. Oh, yeah? What's this? 
Okay, I have a problem. It's okay, Cody. It's just something to take the edge off, you know? Yeah, I understand. Just give me the gun. Okay, maybe you can make me not a root beer holic. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Wait, Junior, what happened? I don't know, you look the same. Oh. Wait, do you still want a root beer? Oh yeah, I want one right now. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta check something. Oh, no, my wiener still looks the same. Yeah, it looks like a little boiled shrimp. Not a jumbo shrimp either, a little cocktail shrimp, a little tiny one. I don't know. Oh my God, Junior, you're hot. I'm hot? Yeah, oh no, Junior, I think it turned me straight. You're straight? Yeah, cause I mean, Ken's a good looking guy and all, but I'm not really attracted to him like that anymore. Well, grab a Barbie from the room. Okay. Oh, Junior, check out this absolute smoke show. And check this out. Ain't no panties on that ass. Ain't no panties, I'm talking straight lamb chops. You think she's hot? Oh, Junior, the things I would do to her, and will do to her, damn. Oh, Cody, can you please change me back? I'm not okay with making 18% less than men. Well, you could always start in OnlyFans. I'd subscribe. Let me see them cheeks and them toes. No, come on, Cody, change me back, I'm being serious. Well, Jeffy still has to take that test tomorrow. Yeah, you guys can pass me your test and I can take them for you. Yeah, so let's just wait for him to do that, and then I'll work on changing everyone back tomorrow. Okay, fine, I just really want to actually be able to play in the NBA one day. Yeah, so, uh... Uh, could I spend the night here with you and sleep in your bed? No, Cody, go home! Okay, well, I'm gonna take Francesca here home and let her give me a blumpkin. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ask Chef Pee to make me something to eat. That was a really good movie, Marvin. Yeah, kinda. Do you think that bear was really on cocaine? No. Do you think it was a real bear? It was special effects, baby. It was just a movie. What? Chefe! Were you humping Hot Pockets again? Actually, Father, I was not having intercourse with the Hot Pockets this time. Then what are they doing here? They're my friend Cody's! Well, clean up all this mess. Well, what is this? Oh, that's an opposite ray. Whatever you shoot with it becomes the opposite of what it was before. Well, I should shoot you with it, you goober. Stop doing bad stuff. Alright. Well, I will now defecate in the porcelain bowl that's located in the bath facility. Ooh, Marvin, I should use this on you. I wonder what it would do. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe what? you would grow hair and be hot. It would give me hair? Maybe. Oh, shoot me with it. Okay. Marvin, you have hair. I do? Marvin, you're so sexy. Meet me in the bedroom in five minutes. I'm going to go freshen up. Okay. Ooh, you going to get some stank. Oh, well, Dougie, what are you doing here? I need to borrow $50. But for what? Because I want some chips from the gas station. Chips at the gas station don't cost that much, Dougie. But I also need a drink and some Skittles. Dougie, why don't you get a job and work for your money? You know I can't work, folks. You know what? Uh, Dougie, are you okay? Hello, it is your pal Douglas. Do you still need the $50? No, actually I'm gonna go get a job. I'm coming, Rose! Mm -mm -mm, what a masterpiece! Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Wait, Junior, why are you dressed like a girl? I'm not dressed like a girl, I am a girl. Oh, okay, you're one of those. I should have seen this coming. Well, I kind of did. You always sound like a girl when you're being annoying. But the real question is, are you going to get it chopped off or what? That's a true commitment. And are you going to put it in a jar above your bed and kiss it every night? Hmm. I'm hungry, Chef PB. Well, look, look, I don't know what you guys eat, but I have a shrimp clam surprise right here. Oh my god, th that smells disgusting, Chef PB. No, it's really, really good, I promise you. I only gag like twice, and that's a record, okay? You want some? I'll be right back. What, what? Oh, change your mind, you want some, huh? Wait, what's that? All right, Junior, enjoy your steak, shrimp, and lots of surf and turf. Oh my gosh, Chef Pee Pee, this looks delicious. You got good at cooking out of nowhere. I know, it's crazy. I don't know how I do it. Yeah, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Krause, today you have the major test before spring break test today test. So I'm gonna come around and pass out the major test before spring break test. And if you fail, you have to come to spring break school. Hey, Cody, can I borrow a pencil? Yeah, sure. But what do I get out of it? Just give it to me, Cody. Yeah. What, what was that for? Bend over and grab it. <sighs> oh, man, your dress is too long. Could you pull it up for me? Ew, Cody. Junior, why are you dressed up like a girl? I'm not a girl. I'm tired of everyone saying that. Just shut up and scissor me. What? Pass me your scissors. I want to cut my hair off. Oh, okay. I don't want people to think I'm a girl anymore. Junior, don't do that. It's hot. Shut up, Cody. Without a doubt, I will ace this examination. <laughs> hey, nerd, you're looking extra nerdy today, you dork. I will show you just how educated I am. Hey, Junior, I need to borrow this. My glasses fall off. What? Oh, no, I'm a dork. <laughs> All right, Penelope, here's your major test before spring break test. Uh, and Junior, here's your major... Why are you dressed like a girl? Never mind, don't answer that. I'm not allowed to ask. Here's your major test before spring break test. And Cody, here's your major test before spring break test. Where's Joseph? Oh, I think he's in a retirement home. Okay, then. Hey, Penelope, that ass is looking real fine. What? Yeah, real fine. Cody, I thought you were into dudes. Yeah, but now I'm straight. And you know what the opposite of having clothes on is? <sighs> not having clothes on. <laughs> 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 
What the fuck? Well, I mean, I guess she doesn't have clothes on. Cody, why is she a dragon? Well, I guess the opposite of being a human would be a dragon. I, I guess that makes sense. But now I'm gonna be dragging my nuts across her face. <laughs> Penelope, no being a dragon in crass. Go to the principal's office. All right, Jeffy, here's your major test before spring break test. All right, Grass, everyone take your test and no cheating. If I catch you cheating, I'm gonna go Kung Fu Panda on your ass! Uh, please excuse my... Uh, Cody, what was it? Please excuse my dick and scrotum. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, Jeffy, what's the answer number two? The answer to number two is ten. All right, thank you, Jeffy. Hey, you're doing your Jeffy! No cheating! You think just because I have Sranta eye, I can't say that you cheating? You both fail! Oh, no! Cody, shoot him with the ray! Yeah, maybe the opposite of a teacher that doesn't let us cheat is a teacher that lets us cheat. Oh, my God, I can see! No more Sranta eyes! Crass, my eyes are wide open now! All of you look ugly as shit, but I can see! All of you get A plus on your test! I'm gonna go see the world with my new eyes! Well, that's one way to pass the test. Yay, we passed! Well, Junior, we don't have to go to school during spring break. We should bang to celebrate. No, Cody, we should celebrate by fixing this stupid machine and reversing everyone back to normal. Well, that's the thing, Junior. I don't know how. Well, didn't you build it? Well, yeah, but that was back when I was gay. When I was gay, I had all the time in the world. But now that I'm straight, all I can think about is muff and boobs and big floppy knockers. Well, Cody, how about we call a mechanic? Maybe a mechanic can figure it out. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, I'm not getting anything done today. You see her? I'm gonna give her a noogie, and I'm not gonna tell you where. Uh, I'm gonna call a mechanic. Hey there, somebody call a mechanic? Wow, your haircut is really ugly. Uh, uh, don't look at my hair. So what do you need? Well, my friend made this opposite ray, and whatever you shoot with it makes it the opposite. So I was a boy, so it made me a girl. He was gay, it made him straight, and we want you to be able to reverse it. But wait a minute. So maybe if you shot me with that, I wouldn't have to do so many jobs. And, and maybe my wife would be hot. Maybe I'd actually be happy. Shoot me with that thing. Okay, Cody, shoot him with it. All right, didn't you? Oh my god, I don't have any arms! But I got my legs back! You know what that means? Ball Buster Brooklyn is back! Hey you! Ooh, ooh, here I come! Oh, my balls didn't... <laughs> I'm gonna go kick everyone in the balls! <laughs> oh great, Cody, he ran away! Now no one's ever gonna fix this machine! Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to stay like this for the rest of our lives, Junior. No, Cody, change everything back! Well, I don't see an undo button, do you? Uh... Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah! Wow, okay, well, I guess we should just push that then. Okay. Did it work? Uh, hold on, let me check. Ew. Ooh, hey there, pony boy. I'm gonna glaze those bagels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it worked. Yeah, I'm not a girl anymore. Guys, guys, what happened to my legs? My beautiful ball-kicking legs! Why, God? Why?